Hey guys, welcome to my little first impressions of uh, Centipede Chaos, uh, a game originally released by Atari in 1981, makes its comeback to the arcade in ticket redemption form. Um, what are my thoughts on that, my first impressions as an operator? You know, I like Centipede. It was a big hit back in the day, very popular with uh, women and uh, men and everyone. Um, it looks like, from what we see here, this is early, probably prototype images. We have, um, it's actually a combination effort between raw thrills, play mechanics, and ICE, which would be innovative concepts. Um, if you don't know, this is what the original Centipede looks like. It came out, like I said, in 1981. It was published by Atari Games, designed by Ed Logg, and was, you know, had a trackball and little Centipede guys that fly down. Pretty, pretty awesome game. Um... Its new uh, Redemption Brother here is uh, obviously, it looks like to be a three player model. And it has these like little toadstool seats. Apparently, they vibrate, which is pretty cool. It's a very attractive piece. Uh, let's get out of here. We're getting this information from Arcade Heroes, so we should always get your arcade information from. And, um, you know, it looks uh, very attractive LED lighting. You know, pretty standard for Redemption games of this day and age. It appears to be on test at some sort of Dave and Buster's or something. Um, but yeah, let's go back. Uh, because it's, oh, look, this is an earlier prototype. You can tell right here with the, the those look like more like chairs on it. And I think they've changed that to stools, probably because this breaks off too easy. Um, one big major change is um, it it does not use a trackball anymore. Apparently, uh, people don't know how to use trackballs anymore, I guess, and it has a joystick. Fine. You know, I, I kind of like the trackball better, but I'm assuming that the joystick plays just fine. And another change you can see is it goes from a 2D plane to an isometric 3D, um, and you have three players firing at once. It's very fast-paced. Um, let's see. Here's another look at the, the joystick. And you have a shoot button for right-hand players only. And you have your standard tickets and coin door and stuff. Um, from what I've seen is it plays a lot like Galaga Assault, which means you'll play like a, uh, a standard sort of centipede short game, and then you'll fight some sort of boss for the jackpot. Um, let's see if we can... I don't want to watch the vlog, Adam. I'm sorry. Um, thought he had video on here. Sorry, Adam. Check out Adam's video if you want to get the full details, but I thought I saw a video of this somewhere. <clears throat> um, but yeah, it, it looks interesting. Um, you know, it's it's good to see um, some of these classics at least get some sort of, um, you know, arcade release. Um, for what I'm seeing is it does have the stand. It's, it's a lot like Galaga Assault. It has the, you have the option to run it as the old arcade game, um, where it doesn't have tickets and all that stuff. I wish they would give us the option to have both where we sort of can run the old arcade game and get like a fixed amount of tickets would be nice. Um, it's for those places that have tickets, but they still want to run the old thing <clears throat> and they don't really care about jackpots and pr progressive scoring and stuff. So... There you go, guys. It's a first look at Centipede Chaos. Um, I think it could be okay. Um, Galaga Salt did okay. So it's you know it's a three-player version of that. Um, what remains to be seen is the pricing. I'm, su I'm sure it's going to be extremely high. It's 11 o'clock. Um, and it's 11 o'clock. <laughs> um, thanks for watching this video, guys. If you like this video, be, be sure to hit the like button down below. And uh, always subscribe. That's great for me. And... Um, Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. You can also support us on Patreon or Tee Public.